Hope you guys are having a great day. Today I'm making a video about what do you guys need or basics that we need to get ready for our new puppy. Um, my number one item on my list for before you get a puppy would be a crate, but not this big of a crate. You need a small crate for the size of the puppy you're getting. Um, we first got a small crate, so the puppy is comfortable in that smaller crate, and then we upgraded it to a bigger crate. The reason you don't want to get a very big crate right in the beginning is when you're trying to potty train the dogs, they will go in a corner of the crate and poop. Um, it, unless that is part of the plan for you guys to allow them to poop in a corner of the crate. You know, some people do potty pads or something like that. Um, then, uh, then it's okay to get a big crate in the beginning. But we did not want that. We, we wanted to teach our pups to poop outside the house day one. So we got the smaller crates um, that uh, allows them to grow for another month or two and then we donated those crates and we got the bigger sizes. Um, that was the number one item is crate. And for crate training, you we started crate training day one. We got the puppies. Um, next item you would need is um, a bucket of water or a bowl of water. Um, and food. Um, I use the stainless steel bucket because my dogs drink a lot um, and I have two so I don't have to constantly fill and then these they, they move this bowl of water everywhere and um, that bucket is much heavier so they cannot move it so I got that bucket and then I use these stainless steel uh, bowls that I can put it in the dishwasher or, or just scrub it really clean. Um, same thing with that is also stainless steel and I can wash it and clean it really really nicely um, we also have tried putting a water bowl inside the crate but they make a huge mess and my dogs don't stay in the crate all the time so they have access to water pretty much the whole time unless they are created for a few hours. Another thing that some people um, use and I used to use is a, a plastic mat or some people use towel. You put it right under the, the bucket and your food bowl so it doesn't slide and if it gets dirty with the slobber it's only that area that gets um, dirty not the whole entire area. And I tried that, but for me, it's just easier to mop the whole thing, um, move this out of the way, mop under it, and I mop pretty much every day. So um, I actually had a blue uh, plastic tray type of thing um, that goes under this, but now I no longer use it. I just use the simple setup, and I have tiles, so I can do this. But for somebody who has carpet or wooden floor, um, I don't know, it's a personal choice. Okay, another thing that you would need is, of course, the puppy food. Um, we feed raw, so I needed to make sure that we have um, plenty of freezer space to keep the raw food in the freezer. But if you're going to be feeding kibble, um, uh, you may need a, a kibble or a, dog food container that can hold the whole bag um, some side, some sort of storage container um, plus the food so if you're you know your dog that you're going to feed is raw food uh, you need to go get some food before you bring the puppy and obviously make some room in your freezer get a new freezer whatever the case be in our case we got two puppies and we buy our food from a co-op that's every two months. Um, so we actually got a freezer um, just for that. But now I actually buy it from uh, Texas Tribe and it's I don't have to buy so much at a time. I can just buy every two weeks and I don't really use all that freezer space that I originally thought I would need. So um, just uh, a thought. 
All right, so you need the food, you need puppy food, and you need puppy conta uh, food container. Um, you also need leash and collar. Now you need to buy a collar that is appropriate for your dog's um, uh, size. Obviously this is a big dog collar um, and a leash right here, a leash. This is actually a gentle collar uh, for walking your dogs, but I don't have an example over here for a puppy collar, but it's very small. Um, that's going to fit your puppies. Um, yeah, right here, actually, I have some here. Yeah. This is one of the collars we have, and um, we just use it for some time until they outgrew this. Actually, we have more than one. We, we have a much smaller than this. And now they've outgrown this one. These are some of the other colors we use. Um, my dogs don't wear any colors inside the house. Only when we take them outside, we put the collar on. Um, and that's again a personal choice. You may want to get put the collar the whole time. So it just depends on what you want to do. But you, you will need a collar that uh, is appropriate in the size for the puppy and you need a leash and make sure you don't get a very heavy leash um, because uh, you know the puppy cannot bear so much weight and um, some leashes are so heavy so really make sure it's a, a lightweight leash uh, not too long, you know, appropriate size, maybe like not longer than six to seven feet long. Um, and once you're, you have a big dog, then it's okay, but initially you don't want a very heavy leash and a collar. You also need some poop bags. Um, or here you can see I am just using a, a Kroger or Walmart um, grocery bag for poop bags, but some sometimes we actually use these uh, rolls that come as uh, poop bags. When we take the dogs for a walk in the neighborhood and we have to pick up the poop, uh, it comes out to be handy. Um, you will also need some good quality treats. I highly recommend Zooks. Um, their ingredient list is uh, very good and um, I don't see any problems like cavities or any stomach problems or anything like this um, and they love it and it smells so good. I've tried uh, rabbit, chicken, uh, peanut butter. They love all of these and they're really, really small. Um, let me show you. It's almost like a pea size and it's so easy to give it to them uh, when you're training. So I love these uh, Zooks mini um, treats for training our puppies. We also use um, some high quality treats like um, string cheese or pepper, uh, not pepper jack, sorry, uh, cheddar cheese. Uh, sticks you cut it them into small pieces and they are very nice and they love those um, pieces of turkey meat or um, things. Oh, yeah, even hot dogs sometimes we used that as treats so pretty much um, uh, Those are the treats that we use there are many other treats available in market but you may want to be careful because some of those treats really bad for their teeth or their uh, digestion problems can cause diarrhea and things like that um, we also had some beds and you see I have nothing right now because these guys are crazy and they have torn up uh, four of my dog beds they just don't leave it alone so I've decided to not put another bed for another few months and and I'll bring one in and see if they will stop tearing it up. And a, a doggy bed would be nice. My other dog, Diesel, he had no problems. He never chewed up the bed. 
um, but these guys, they just tear it up. And I, I have spent so much money on nice beds and they can still um, destroy the bed within an hour. So I haven't found anything that strong uh, of a bed. If you guys know of a brand or a good bed that puppies cannot chew through or dogs cannot chew through, let me know. Um, but I have not found something yet. Um, all right, the other thing you would need is some chew toys. Um, we love the Kong, uh, actually, Nyla bone, Nyla bones. This has a lot of hair, but they still use it. Um, you can see one over there, another one there. We have lots and lots of bones here in their room. Um, and they love it. They chew on it a lot. Some dogs do more than others. Max loves to chew on them. Um, Maya, not so much. Maya likes to chew on my real things and get in trouble. But everybody is different, so... Um, Lots of chew bones. Give them lots of plenty of chew bones and good things to chew on so they don't chew your furniture or things you don't want them to chew. Uh, another thing that you will need is um, tick and flea medication. Uh, obviously, this is the size for my big dogs now, but um, we use Frontline for flea and tick medication. Um, I'm not sure if this is for Let's have some. So it comes in this package and you open it up um, and you break up from here and it's basically some uh, this liquid medication that you pour on their on their body um, in their fur and the instructions are pretty pretty easy to follow um, and that's what we have been using and have had no problems with any flea or ticks or anything like that. Um, yeah, so I like Frontline. I've also heard that uh, Next Next Gen is also a very good brand. I've not used it, but I've heard good things about it. So that's what we use. And then you also would need a heart guard. This is something that um, you'll need a prescription for from your veterinarian. Uh, you can buy it from your veterinarian but i find that it's much cheaper to buy it online so i asked my vet to give me a prescription that i can use online to find a cheaper price on heart guard uh, this is kind of expensive stuff actually both of these are expensive but that's what we have to give um we give this every month or six weeks something like that every month every month we give this and it keeps the worms away and I have uh, forgotten sometimes a month here and there or a few weeks here and there and that's fine uh, dogs have not had any problems but we try to keep them on schedule uh, another thing would be besides this would be nice to have would be some sort of uh, probiotic. I don't have an example right here. Let's see. Yeah, I just don't have anything right here. Um, let me go get one. Okay, this is the um, probiotic that I use when changing their food or they have a little diarrhea type of situation. Um, really love this product. Just comes in a packet and I just sprinkle this over their food um, and it works great and this I can buy from PetSmart or Walmart any of those stores so I hope these are the things that um, we used when we got our puppies or these are the basic things that you need there's a lot more that you can buy for your dogs um, that you really may or may not need, um, but these are the basics that um, you need to get ready for a new puppy. 
Um, and of course, you will need lots and lots of time to spend with your puppy because you'll be potty training and comforting him um, and uh, training him. So you'll need lots of time and lots of love and patience. Uh, is what you'll need. Of course, in return, they'll give, give you so much love um, that it's all worth it. Um, hope this video is informational for you guys and uh, your new puppy adventure brings lots of joy and fun for your family. Thank you for, uh, for watching and have a great day. Thank you.